This is when writing becomes the aged black woman's hands, field hardened, boiling black pot, stirring large soap, soft and smooth. Where every bit of light heart pump your body has been rich, drip dry. So by the time the shine that is who you know yourself to be falls upon a pedestrian gaze a galaxy street away that you is already gone. What's left? Groups inside so there's enough you puddle somewhere to evaporate into a cloud of an idea that will become you. Because we don't hear that we are loved enough times in a day. And I've read, humans need at least eight hugs for 24 hours to remain sociable. There are three-year-old catatonic orphans in China who haven't experienced the human touch since the womb as proof. This is when you want to believe that cloud of an idea will storm inspiration, fertilize bones, and blossom into the soul of whatever it is you believe. This is when you want to believe in soul, so much that every step away from whatever cardboard box, couch, or bed you drag yourself away from becomes a prayer. Marching through the life war, to the earlobe of whatever higher power you can conjure, begging the redemption of your dreams, whatever job or career you sold them to, because at night, when you are alone, your making a living doesn't hold you tight enough. Somewhere inside you, the fable of the wayward windblown rose that grew in a rock garden is obsidian granite surrounded, blooming the belief of you knowing you are beautiful. So hope on a broken no blossoms plucked by four-year-old girl's fingers strumming a field of four-chord, six-string guitars with singer-songwriter ambitions that would skyrocket her to the stars like I was walking yesterday and witnessed the beanpole of a 14-year-old black boy playing pickup with the big men. Yet until he hit that yes I can three-pointer resemble every bit of the dream that was once me. The only thing that lasted longer than the ball's hang time that lasted longer than the I did that smile was the yes black fist with Michael Jordan Frasana as his LeBron James Cottle feet back pedal towards defense and I can't recall when this poem became more about life than writing but I do know we got to live like pins. Keep pushing out the words until the ink runs dry. And dry is an alcoholic's dream come true. What a beautiful goal to achieve. So beautiful. I scribble love notes on boomerangs just to hope to get back what I put out in the world because maybe, like I love you, we don't hear hope enough times in a day. Like I hope to believe in my own words that no matter how dry life gets, my dreams will always reign beautiful. Thank you. Yeah.